Infrastructure Management as a Service is a scalable, easy-to-use monitoring solution with near zero capital expenditure. It helps reduce total cost of ownership and accelerates time to value by eliminating deployment and maintenance costs. When you're on our SaaS instance, you can also ensure you're on the latest, most up-to-date version of our solution. In this demo, you will learn how to set up zero-touch monitoring for any newly onboarded devices in the organization. In the process, you will learn how to create a dynamic group, configure and execute device discovery, create monitoring profiles, and how to view alarms in IM SAS. Log in to the DX AIOps for Digital Experience Monitoring and navigate to the Infrastructure Management homepage. Let's start with creating a dynamic group. In the left navigation panel, click Group. Click the Add Group option on the top right. Define the group name and select the Dynamic Group checkbox to indicate that you are creating a dynamic group. A dynamic group can contain only devices. It cannot contain other subgroups. Click Add to define the rules of the dynamic group. Let's configure the dynamic group filter options and define a range of IP addresses that should be a part of the group for CDM monitoring. When the device discovery is complete, the devices in the IP address range get added to this group. Click the Find Devices button. You will notice that there are no devices listed. This is because you have to run the device discovery. Click Save to save the dynamic group configuration. After configuring the dynamic group, create the CDM profiles. Once you run the device discovery, the matching devices are added to the group and the CDM profiles are applied to the devices. Click the Monitoring Configuration icon on the top right. Since there are no profiles configured for the group yet, click the plus icon. You will view the available monitoring templates. Click the CPU, Disk, and Memory Monitoring Profile Templates. Select a monitor. The Profile Creation page opens and you can view the default metrics selected. You can select all metrics. Select all baseline. Click Monitor to save the monitoring profile. The CPU monitor profile is now applied to the dynamic group. Navigate back to the Profiles tab. You can see the profile you created listed here. You can create many profiles by clicking the plus icon on the top right. The additional profiles that you create appear in the Profiles tab. For each of the profiles that you created, you can view the default alarm policy in the Alarm Policies tab. Click on any alarm policy. The alarm policy details appear in context. You can further edit the conditions, if required. Let's configure the device discovery and find devices defined for the dynamic group. Click Setup Wizard from the left navigation panel. Click the Discover Devices button to open the device discovery configuration. Choose an available discovery agent to scan your environment and discover devices. Click on the Configure Discovery button to configure the parameters for device discovery. In the first tab, you can define the Windows credentials. Click the plus icon to add new credentials. Define the credentials and then click Add. You will notice that the credentials are added to the list in the left pane. Click Next to navigate to the Next tab. Similarly, define the Unix or Linux credentials. Click Next to define the discovery scope. In the Define Scopes tab, add the scope of the device discovery and select the required credentials. Typically, you will define a range of IP addresses. Save the scope. Click Next to move to the Schedule Discovery tab. In the Schedule Discovery tab, define how often you want to execute the device discovery. You can also choose if you want to install robots on the discovered hosts. Click Finish to execute the device discovery or save the discovery schedule. The device discovery job will now run and you can view the progress of the job. After the discovery job is complete, you can either configure another job 
or close and start monitoring the devices. Click Close to exit the Device Discovery Progress page. To validate that the Discovery Execution added the devices that match the scope of the created group, navigate back to the Groups page by clicking on Groups from the left panel. Access the created dynamic group. The list of devices that match the IP address range of the dynamic group configuration are listed here. The CDM monitoring profile that you created for the dynamic group is also applied to the devices. As a result, newly added devices in the organization will start getting monitored from the time it gets onboarded and lets you achieve zero-touch monitoring. To view the metrics collected by the profiles, Click the Dashboard button from the left navigation panel. The metrics for the CDM profiles appear in the CPU, Disk, and Memory dashboard. Click the Dashboard tile to view the details. In the dashboard, you can view the alarms based on the severity. You can also view the top devices based on the alarms. You can further filter by metrics, devices, and components. The alarms can be viewed on the Global Alarm Console. To access the Alarm Console, click on the Alarm icon that appears on the top right, or you can also access it from any view that has the Alarm icon. Click the Alarm icon to navigate to the Global Alarm Console view for IM SAS page. For each alarm, you can perform specific actions. Click on the ACK Assign link for the alarm. The list of actions that you can perform appear. For example, you can assign a ticket to the administrator, hide it, or clear any selection. Click the Assign To option. Search and assign a ticket to a user for the alarm. Once the alarm action is complete, you'll get a confirmation message. Click on the alarm to view the overview and affected metric details. Here you can view the alarm details. To exit the Alarm Console view, click the Group, Probe Name, or the Device Name. You will be navigated back to the IM SAS view. Click on the Help icon to access the product documentation, or click on the Comment icon to access the communities where you can initiate discussions on the product. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the Information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.